Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, so this is video three. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about the basic structure, uh, all the HTML we need to get started before we actually get into uh, doing any sort of interaction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this H1 and let's get started. So um, for me, it hasn't been very long. It's been a couple minutes since the last time, but if you've uh, had some time off, again, make sure you have gulp running here. So it is uh, running on your um, uh, localhost port 3000. Uh, and yep, we should be good to go. Okay, so what we need to do now is let's actually build out this structure a bit because right now it's kind of boring, right? We need to actually add some stuff. So um, we need to add here a div. Now this is really interesting. So this div is gonna be the thing that kind of contains all of our stuff. Because I mentioned earlier that uh, these H1s, and actually I should show you, uh, the these elements we are working with at the very bottom here. Do, 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 do. Um, if you've never used Browserify, this is just all of Browserify stuff coming in. Uh, understandably, people are much in, more into this thing called rollup and um, uh, this idea of tree shaking because this is 20,000 lines of maybe we don't need all of this, um, but maybe that's another video. But anyways, in React, uh, when we use JSX, the JSX is just a function here. Um, and what's returned from this create class uh, method is just this element. Now, because that's a function, we can't actually do like an h1 and then an h2 because we can't have adjacent elements like that. They need to. Uh, they need to because this is returning uh, something. We can, we only have one return, the ability to return one thing. So they can't be adjacent. They have to be nested inside of something. So it's very common to just have uh, like a div or a, a section or something like that that kind of holds uh, all of the things that you're going to be putting into your component. Okay, so what we're going to have is we're going to have uh, a header first. And because I've provided you already some CSS, uh, I already gave, have some class names here available for you. So main header is our main class name, uh, and that is what gives us uh, that nice header. So um, another thing about React is that we can't use the word class here. Because uh, class is a reserved word and class means something else, uh, what we have to do is we have to use class name. And this is uh, sort of the, the DOM property, the, the property that is uh, used internally inside of the DOM to represent the class. So when we actually say class in HTML, and then it gets rendered onto the page and rendered out as the DOM, so that tree, that, that information that the page um, contains, the content, uh, class name is what it actually is. So we have to use class name here as well. So if we put main header, uh, that will allow us to uh, have some styling right away. I think what I did was I had an H1 here called noted. Uh, and you know what? Let's see what that looks like. Should look good. Mm, so good. That nice subtle, I don't know if you can see that, that just nice subtle little gradient there. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, the next thing we're actually going to put in here is we're going to put in our... Uh, our navigation. So we're just gonna put a little nav here and it's gonna have two links for now. The first link is gonna be add new. So like how do we add a new, oops, uh, a new note. That's the name of it, add new note. And then the second one uh, will actually be sort of the, uh, actually we don't need the second one right now because we, we're not gonna do the user authentication a little, till a little, a little bit later, like after we have everything working. Uh, so let's actually, leave that for now. We'll leave the add note uh, like this. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a section here uh, that has a class of notes. Now, uh, you notice I just did section.notes. Um, if you're using Sublime, and I believe uh, Atom and maybe uh, uh, Visual Studio Code has this, um, but this is Emmet. Um, well, actually, uh, this is kind of built in, but I believe Emmet is the thing that is kind of auto-completing this for me. But I can say the element dot, so representing a class, then something, and it'll auto-complete it for me. Really, really nice. So this section here, this is going to be where all of our, our notes will end up living. And uh, we're going to leave that for now because we're going to need to put some notes in there later. And then the last thing we're going to kind of add right now is we're going to add an aside here. We'll give it a class name of uh, sidebar. So uh, the aside is going to be used as sort of the thing that when we click on add new, uh, it's going to slide out and let us actually add our note. So we need two uh, uh, form inputs in here. Actually, they need to be inside of a form first. Oh, from, come on. 
no, <laughs> that's not it. Ah, whatever. Okay, I guess we'll do this uh, by hand. Uh, form, oh boy. You can tell I don't type that very often. So form, uh, and we'll deal with the user interaction in a second. But if we put a label here, uh, we'll say this is for note title. We'll just put the text title here. Tile, not title. Uh, and we'll put an input. Uh, type text is fine here. Uh, and we'll also give it the name of, oops, hitting that B a lot there. Name of note title. I don't know if you can hear that siren in the background. Um, yeah, we also need to put label. Uh, we're gonna put note text here. And we'll also, well, actually, I don't think we have to give these any classes. So we'll just say text. And then we're gonna put a text area down here. Uh, I always get rid of, uh, well, I should put my note text name there first, but I always get rid of the call and rows because I'll just use CSS later to style that, um, <clears throat> which we already have if you go down here. We also, looking at that CSS, need to put our uh, submit button. Uh, so I'm just gonna put an input type of submit and let's put a value of, uh, Add new note, new note, there. So this is looking good. Now let's save this and let's actually see what happens. So uh, we have no errors. We would have seen the error pop up here. So if we go back to our page and refresh, where is it? Well, so uh, by default, I actually kind of hit it right away. So if you open up your dev tools uh, and we go to elements, uh, and we find it inside of our HTML, you'll notice, I'll just bring this up here, you'll notice that it has this left 270 on it. Remove that and you'll see that we have this here. Uh, I'm realizing we need to put a little title at the top there, so I'm gonna jump back to Sublime uh, and inside of our form, I think it was like an H3, I'll put add new note uh, there. Save that, look at that browser sync, refresh it for us. Mm, so good. One more thing that I want to add here is I want to put a little close button. So what we're going to do is we'll just in here, we'll put a div with a class of close button. Again, these are all classes that I've sort of uh, predefined uh, so that they're just going to do this so we don't have to spend a lot of time uh, writing CSS. We can just kind of jump right into our HT, um, React. So we're going to use Font Awesome here. Uh, I only use Font Awesome, uh, Font awesome for like three whole, uh, three whole icons, even though we import the whole damn thing, but that's okay. Uh, we're just playing around. Uh, so we're going to use the uh, times icon, basically like the close symbol, to give it this nice little, uh, doo -doo -doo, this nice little close button. So we'll be able to click the close button and it'll slide back. So the idea here is that when we click add new, this will slide out and we can type in all of our stuff, hit submit. Uh, it won't do that. It will then uh, slide away and then a new note will appear down here for us. That's pretty good. Uh, and let's see, what else do we need to do here? This is pretty much the basic structure. Um, I think the only other thing we need to worry about now is uh, our little note cards. Like what are our cards gonna look like? And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just the basic structure and then we're actually gonna move it into our own component uh, in a little bit. But each note card is gonna look like this. So we'll have div uh, note card. You can tell my uh, class naming structures all over the place. Capital, dash, really gotta pick one, stay, stay with it. Uh, so we're gonna have the note card here. And uh, so when we actually add all these notes, we'll have all uh, many, many note card divs. Uh, and inside each of them, we'll have, uh, what we're gonna need here, we're gonna need uh, like a title and stuff like that. So first let's actually put our, our edit icons. I'm realizing why am I using a div? Should be fa uh, dot fa edit, I believe it is. Uh huh. And another one, it'll be fa fa time. So one for edit and one for delete. Cool. And we also need to have inside of here uh, an h4. I think is what I use for the title. So test note. And then a paragraph, and you know what? Oops, of course it doesn't let me do that. 
We'll just throw some lorem ipsum text in there. So if we save that and jump back, that is a test note. So we have the edit button. So when we click it, we should be able to edit. We have the X to actually uh, stop, uh, or sorry, delete the note. Um, so that's it. That's the basic structure of our page. Uh, there's a few other things that we will be able to, or we will have to add a little bit later, uh, like a login mo um, modal and stuff like that. But I think that is good for now. In the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, start looking at interactions. How can we, uh, when we actually click on this, how can we actually make that slide out? And then more importantly, when we actually add some text and click uh, uh, enter on that submit on the, the button there, on the form there, on the button there. Um, how can we actually put the notes onto the page? So uh, join me in the next video where we will actually get into some interactions.